So I'll continue interlocking them. Taking the one that is behind and going through the one that is in front of that. And you do that all the way to the end. To make these when I coma, these are the materials that we need. We need yarn, a pair of scissors, and a crochet hook. And I'm using this yarn. It's a shade of blue. And it's color. I've realized that this one is not so visible. So this is the color. 2007, lot number is 34. This number is very important, especially when your, your yarn is finished and you want to replace it. It's very important to have this number or a piece of the yarn. But if you do not have the yarn, if you just go to the shop with this number, then you are sorted. So now we start. I'm joining two strands of this yarn. So there is this one which I've already sorted. And so we start. So now we start by making a slip knot. Sorry guys for my voice. I have a cold. You know this uh, cold weather. Or season. So now. I have this which I've done. A bit of it. So now we start by making a chain of 30. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, oops, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, and 30. So now we have a chain of 30. We add another chain of 2. Now we have that 2 chains. Now we skip the first 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. And on the 4th, we make a double crochet. Like that. In the next, work a double crochet. And in this row, we are working all through double crochets. So continue doing your double crochets to the end. And then I meet you on the other side as we finish this row to show you what next to do. So I've done all the stitches. And at the end of this row, I'm having... 30 double crochets so now we chain three and turn our work now in this row it's where we are going to be forming these loops you see these ones it is from this row now where we're going to be um doing these ones so now as you can see there are three parts there is this part, there is this other part, and this last part of double crochets. So now we are going to be dividing our work into three. And that is after every 10 stitches, we make a loop. After 10, we make a loop. 
another 10 we make a loop and the, the, the last uh, 10 stitches so now we are starting with this chain 3 to be our first double crochet and now we are working from the back loop as you can see from here there are two loops so now we are working on the back loop so now work 10 double crochets the chain 3 inclusive so we have done two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so our first part is done of double crochets and now on that tenth double crochet make a chain of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now on the double crochet that we lastly did on top of that there are two loops here you go through the two loops that is one grab the other one and then you slip stitch to complete that loop as you can see that loop is done again we crochet in the next 10 stitches you double crochet on the back loop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten okay we are there one two three four five that is ten again we make a chain of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we slip stitch on top of this double crochet there Like that our second part of double crochets plus the loop is done and then we finish with the rest of the stitches working double crochets on the back loop nine and the last one here is the chain three that we skipped so you make sure you also do a double crochet on that that is the tenth and the last stitch of this row and that row is finished so now again in this row you should have 30 double crochets plus two loops okay here we have te uh, 10 double crochets 10 double crochets and 10 double crochets again we chain three and now we want to make uh, these loops complete as you can see these ones are big compared to this uh, these ones so now again we do 10 double crochets this is the first one two and we are working on back loop only 
go through this um uh, in this uh nekoma that we are doing that is four five six seven eight nine and ten so we are done with this part and now we want to work um stitches in this loop so now we are working 24 double crochets in this loop we start one two three four five six seven eight you won't continue pushing them And you work until you have uh, between, let's say between 22 and 24. This is according to the yarn that you are using. All right. So I did 22 double crochets. If you find that your loop still has some space here, just feel free and add some um stitches okay so now we want to slip stitch this loop for it to curve this way as you can see this side and this side there is a point that they are meeting so now you pull this yarn and to the first double crochet in the loop here this is it on the side pick that loop the top loop and take your yarn and pull through it and that one is stitched just like that then we continue working the rest we do again 10 double crochets remember we are working on the back loop You work 10 double crochets that is two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now we are on the second loop you work the same number of double crochets that you worked here so i'm going to do 22 double crochet inside that loop i worked 22 double crochets so again we pull this yarn on the first double crochet that we started uh, working in this loop on top of that we have two loops you go through them uh, get the other yarn on the other side and make a slip stitch like that and then we finish the last part of this by working 10 double crochets Remember, we are working on the back loop. There is always a difference between working on back loop, front loop, and going through the two loops. There is a pattern that is formed by working on the back loop.
So I come to the end of this row. You can always confirm your stitches by counting 10, 10, 10. Okay. So now this is the right side. So now at the end of uh, this row we chain 3 and turn our work and we work 10 double crochets. This is the first one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. So again, we make a chain of 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are repeating the same process. On top of these, the last two double crochets, on top of them, there are two loops. You go through them and slip stitch. And this loop is formed. So now we continue working 10 double crochets. Once you get used to this, you do not need to count. It is just, you know, you get used and you know when you reach to the, to the other side where you are supposed to work the other loop. So when you do one of this neck warmer or two, you just get used. You do not need a lot of counting as we are doing now. But if you are a beginner, it's very advisable to do that. So now this is my last stitch, the 10th at the center. So again, we make a chain of 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We slip stitch this on top here. We slip stitch. And that is done. So now finish with the, the rest of the stitches, the 10 of them. If you're a beginner, please make sure you count your stitches, okay? Because once you skip one, your work starts um, or coming in, like folding in. On the last stitch, make a double crochet. Chain three and turn your work. And now we are repeating the row that we did these 22 stitches. So work 10 double crochets until you get where the loop is. And this is my last stitch. So now we make 22 double crochets inside this loop. So I worked 22 stitches, double crochets. So we pull this yarn. The reason why we are pulling it is because we do not want this to be undone. So you slip stitch here. And it forms that shape. So we continue working 10 double crochets on the back loop. 
until we get to the other side of um, until we get where the loop is this is one of my projects that i like doing this nekoma i tell you is so dear to me I think it's because many of my clients like this. So I get to the other side of the of the loop and I work 22 double crochets in there. I slip stitch like usual. like that I finish with 10 double crochet again if you are new here please subscribe to this channel to subscribe is just to press the red button that is written subscribe there is a bell that appears just beside that click on all so that when we upload a new video you get notified if you are an unknown member coming back thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so now we finish our last stitch and that row is done so now i want us to look on the right side this is the right side and you can see how beautiful these loops are even before they are interlocked so now this is the process that we shall repeat in this nekoma to finish this nekoma Continue making these loops and they are done by two rows. The first row you make chains of 10 and then in the second row it's where you now do these double crochets inside the chain. So repeat this for at least um, a length of between 68 and 70 centimeters. Usually all my neck warmers for adults. I usually make them between 68 and 70 72 according to the size of the person so continue doing this until you get your desired size so let me meet you when I've done all the rows that I need so now I'm back with my finished uh, desired size and that's that that's it uh, these are uh, raffles. I did 27 of them as per one row like this. So now as you can see, I've already started interlocking them. And this is what to do because we want them, you can't wait when it's like this. We want them to be interlocked like this. But So now this is the part that we've just finished. And now to interlock them, you are going to pick the last ruffle that you did and the one that is behind it. So now this one, we are going to put it through this one. Okay. This way. And it comes out. So again, you pick the one that is behind. It goes through that. Make sure you open them like that. Again, you open it and you continue doing this to the end. As you can see, 
they are now together it's like they were stitched like this as you can see so you will continue interlocking them all the way to the last one and i meet you uh, at this point so all of them are now interlocked and it just runs smoothly as you can see wow this is beautiful so now we want to do the last part of this so now as you can see here there is no smooth edging like the other part so now we want to run a row of double crochets to make it flat as you can see these parts are kind of moving on this side so now we want to run a row of double crochets or uh, to the other side to make it a bit smooth and attractive so now you continue doing what you are doing only that we are not doing to make or we are not going to make the ruffles so you just run a row of double crochets this nekwoma is usually one of its own it's very beautiful very warm this is one of the neck warmers that I know are warm. So now when you come here, you just do a normal double crochet on the back loop. You go to the next, you do a double crochet and you continue like that to the end. As you can see. So that row is done. And now we want to finish this you chain one cut your yarn pull this through and we hide this yarn come to our starting point we hide this yarn also so now how to shape this neck warmer of course we are going to have buttons so now this is what to do on the side that you finished with this side with uh, the the final ruffles it is going to be on top and now this other side this is where we are going to uh, to put our buttons. We put a button there on this side so that we button there. Another one here which we come through here and now here. Another one here which will come through here to pick this so that the buttons will appear on top here. Another button here another one here you can have another one here as as you wish because i find buttons both functional and decorative so you choose the way to go and then your neck warmer is yeah this is the neck area the back the back this is the front this is how the front will look like and that's all for this neck warmer so now give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below here and give this video 
a comment. What do you think about this? Comment down below. So thank you for viewing this to the end. God bless you and goodbye for now.